Good evening, everyone. Well, unfortunately, I have to start off with the bad news. We're under a wind advisory until 8 p.m. tonight. This is for the entire viewing area. And again, we'll get lifted from this from 8 p.m. this evening. But with that comes some peak wind gusts. We saw those winds upwards of 45 miles per hour here in Charleston, as well as Paris, 44 miles an hour in Terre Haute and Robinson. These wind speeds were coming from out of the south and remain coming from the south as but they have calmed down just a bit around 20 miles per hour right now in Charleston 24 miles an hour in Paris to Haute, down into Robinson and 26 in Champaign the southerly winds will stick with us for tomorrow but Skytrack is showing we do have some momentum with this precipitation off to the west of the viewing area that will come in later this evening but even as we zoom in we remain with some cloud covers mostly sunny skies right now though so make sure you do get out and catch that sun before the storms tonight, chances of precipitation remain off to the west of Taylorville and the rest of the viewing area right now, but will continue to move in through the overnight hours. Area conditions are close around the 80 degree mark. We saw temperatures upwards of 82 in Effingham, which just got increased to 80 degrees, 78 right now in Charleston, where the icons are showing sunny skies. We do have the cloud cover remaining in the viewing area, and that will continue to increase as Futurecast shows the thunderstorms moving in around 11 p.m. tonight. Precipitation before that, showers picking up starting around 7 to 8 this evening. And that system will continue to push through the viewing area before leaving us with sunnier conditions on Friday. It does come with some totals, though. We'll get to that in just a second. But Friday is going to be partly cloudy or partly cloudy skies with a lot of sunshine, but it's a soggy start to the day after those thunderstorms move through. And then around 9 p.m., we remain with clearer conditions. And the severe storm risk for this evening is under a slight risk for the viewing area. The eastern portion of Terre Haute is under a marginal risk, and with that does co come some increased damaging winds upwards again of 45 miles per hour. The chances for large hail and even flooding are on the downside, even th because the future ra cast rain totals are around an inch for the entire viewing area. Half an inch in Paris and Danville, though, seven tenths here in Charleston, as well as Champaign and Taylorville, and eight tenths down in Effingham. These rain totals can increase. They were just upwards of an inch and we could see those surpass in areas such as Effingham and even here in Charleston. But overnight tonight, temperatures are going to be around the 48 degree mark with those chances of thunderstorms into 2 a.m. before all that precipitation moves out and the winds coming from the south to southwest 15 to 20 miles per hour. We could see temperatures down in Effingham and Jasper, Jasper counties closer to the 50 degree mark at 49, even seeing 50 degrees, but for your breakdown tomorrow for on Friday, it's going to start off soggy, but 49 degrees under mostly sunny and we remain with the mostly sunny skies through the afternoon hours where we top out at 62 degrees before cooling off around 6 p.m. as the sun starts to set around 7 o'clock. Looking at the three day outlook Saturday, we're just shy of that 60 degree mark. Our average around this time of year is 63 degrees. We will see that sun sunshine on Saturday, but then come Sunday, it's a different story. As temperatures continue to cool off and we see another chance of thunderstorms right now remains off to the southern portion of the viewing area but if that moves up we'll, we can see the increase of those thunderstorms move into the viewing area and after that the seven day forecast has a lot of sunshine in store for us come Wednesday and Thursday rain, rain is in the morning at 68 degrees and then 73 for Thursday.